Welcome back. Now, my next guests are a proud mum and her very special daughter. It's Cara and Grace. Hello. Welcome to Surprise Surprise. Now, I know that you live on the Isle of Man with your family. Tell everybody how old you are. I'm ten years old. Now, Cara, Grace's birthdays are very special times, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, because she's had to fight so hard to be here over the past ten years, we don't take any birthdays for granted and cherish every moment with her. Well, take me back to when you were pregnant with Grace. How was that? Um, everything was going fine, but as a mum, I just had a gut feeling that there was something wrong with her, yes. um, and I couldn't really put my finger on what it was. So after she was born, it soon became obvious that things weren't quite right. Tell yeah. me what happened. Um, well, she was born really well, and I was actually quite surprised. I thought, oh, my goodness, you know, I was wrong. She's fine. Yeah. But within hours, you could see deterioration in her breathing. Um, she wouldn't feed. She'd fall asleep, and she was just panting and couldn't catch her breath. Oh, so I kind of had that heart-sinking moment of something isn't right. That sort of dawning realisation. Yeah. So what was the diagnosis? Um, well, Grace was diagnosed um, at eight days old with a severe form of congenital heart disease, so she had multiple left heart defects that would require lifelong interventions and surgeries. Mm. And she had to have surgery very quickly, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she was operated on within hours of that diagnosis, so oh, on the same day. And what would have happened had she not had that surgery? Um, she wouldn't have survived the night. They said, had we have gone home, she wouldn't have been with us that morning, so it was just fate really that we arrived at Alder Hay on that day that we did. And that wasn't the last of the operations however no. because how many operations has she had to date? Um, well Grace had four heart surgeries before we brought her home. I'd say over the past 10 years she's had more than 30 operations. I can't actually count. I'd lose oh, count. Goodness. It's been yeah it's been a tough journey. It sounds like it and here you are sat on my sofa looking the picture of health. You're absolutely gorgeous in a very beautiful dress. Thank you. And how, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling completely fine. Are you? <laughs> I mean, you still spend a lot of time in hospital, doesn't she? Um, yeah. She spent years out of her ten years in hospital, both mm. on Children's Ward at our local Nobles Hospital and at Alder Hay. Um, spent a lot of time there. But she's <laughs> a quite fighter. well known. She is a fighter <laughs> and they're amazing with her, both hospitals. Well, Grace, there is one thing that makes you really, really happy, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. Tell me what that is. Singing, acting and being on stage. Um, well, you also use your musical talent to say thank you to the doctors and nurses yes. that help you. So how does that work? Um, I do that so you can have new equipment for the new hospital and toys for the other children. Oh, well done, you. <laughs> now, I know that you love musicals. Yes. And I hear that when you're watching them, you always say something to your mum. <laughs> Tell me what that is. Uh, how, how do you audition for that certain show? And can I be in that show? <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew that. So I sent Matt Johnson to grace the school a talent contest to bring the curtain up on an incredible surprise. I'm here on the Isle of Man to surprise a very, very special young lady. For our 10-year-old Grace, today is already a very big day, as it's her end-of-school term talent show. There is a castle on a cloud. But she has no idea how much bigger today's about to get. It's time to go in. Come on. Grace, surprise, surprise. Hello there. Hello. You were fantastic. Thanks. Wasn't she fantastic? Yeah. Yes. Now, there's a reason why I'm here, and it's because of this wonderful lady behind me. Yeah. Hello there, ma'am. <laughs> and your mum has written in to surprise, surprise. Mummy and Daddy have been really... Gosh. ...been really proud of what you've achieved over the years. All your heart surgeries, <laughs> all your operations, how brave you've been. And we're so proud of you. We wanted to surprise you with something you'd love. <laughs> <laughs> so, Grace, what is your favourite musical? Matilda. Matilda? I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> because we are going to take you to London to see Matilda. Yeah. Is that OK? How do you feel about that? <laughs> and not only that... We're going to be performing on the surprise, surprise stage with the cast from Matilda. Being Matilda is a dream come true for me. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go to London, <laughs> kids. Come on. Today is like the best day of my life. A 
few days later, Grace starts rehearsing for her big performance. So, guys, I would love to introduce you to Grace. So, everyone, this is Grace, Grace, this is everyone. She'll be performing with the cast of her favourite musical, but first she needs to learn the words... If you always take it on the chin and worry... ..and the steps. And squeeze, that's it, and it's the heel that comes forward. I can't believe I'm actually in my shoulder. Guys, are we good to go from the top? Grace has got such a positive energy. Anything we've asked her to do, she's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. We're so proud of her and everything that she's achieved. She's done so brilliantly. Well done, kids. It was amazing and massive well done to Grace. I'm really excited to see the performance on the show. I can't wait. Just from seeing them in rehearsals, it's going to be absolutely amazing. With the rehearsals coming to an end, it's time for Grace to step into the spotlight and perform her dream role. The moment has finally come and Grace is ready. Cara, are you ready? Yeah, I'm really ready. I'm nervous, but I can't wait to I'm see you. I'm nervous it. too. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. Please give a round of applause for the Royal Shakespeare Company's production of Matilda, the musical featuring Grace Lee. In this world, children, there are winners and there are losers. You are small, shriveled, foul-smelling and weak. You are losers, children. And you always will be. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin and wear it, nothing will change. Even if you're little, you can do well on you. You were brilliant. She was great, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah. So good. And so were you guys. Absolutely brilliant. Did you enjoy working with her? Yes. And nervous mum watching it. I, I think the really eyes say it all. It was amazing. Um... She did incredibly well, yeah. didn't she? Oh, she's a little star, let me tell you. I've got something else for you. Hold on a second. This is for you. There's some Matilda goodies for you, so the memory can last and longer. Take that home and enjoy it. And let's give a huge round of applause to the car. Of Matilda to Cara and the hugely talented Grace, everybody. Yeah. 